I'm filming this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, update from VNR. We're on the outside. They've only allowed a mere four welfare four welfare officers for 13 lock-ons, two of whom are in wheelchairs, others with medical needs, and they're uh, every one of them a local person, 11 of whom have never done this before. I know I keep repeating our live streams, but some people are joining the live stream for the first time. Um, so we all got excluded apart from four people who were allowed to stay um, and the ones who were staying, I had a hissy fit earlier, you'll see that in previous live streams when I was excluded because I only actually stepped one foot in the wrong direction to change angle for the camera and they threw me out and wouldn't let me back in. There's a lot of tension and exhaustion here, you know, we've all been up for, I don't know, how long have we been up? About 1.30, so, no, no, that's not up, I mean, we've, we've I mean, the, the nap before arriving in Cal, so Two I'd say we had last night. it's been about 36 hours now that we've been awake, I think. 33, 33. 33. Well, it doesn't matter, something like that. And whatever it is, we're really counting. tired counting. now. Who's counting? But not as tired as the people on the lock-ons who have now got to go through the excruciating business of hours and hours being cut out. They're currently working on the first two. Um, the way the lock-ons are arranged is five pairs and three singles so yeah Gina's just put herself behind an umbrella yeah good, good move yeah. it went through rain and cold winds last night but today's turned out beautiful and sunny Oh, is that Julie Brickles? Has asked for him. at Steven like Spire's a, kit. Like a door Bloody camera. brilliant. That's a six hour. And can you live stream? Oh, that's a recording one. That's just a recorder one. But, but you could I'll, put your live stream in there? Yeah, that could put the harness So this in there. harness, that'd be brilliant because that would just be ace. I could just be hands free. The, the, day, the day day you, I don't know, about seven pounds or something on oh, eBay. Really? The, uh, uh, the GoPro things and... Yeah. yeah, but you can't live stream from GoPro, but I could get GoPro, that. Not GoPro, but you can get them to clip into, like the phones yeah, to clip into. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I suppose is that if it's there, I can't see what I'm filming, can I? It's difficult, eh? You know, it depends on the circumstances. Yeah. Obviously, this, we need to peer over a van so we yeah. get a tripod, like, yeah, you know, yeah. but, but in a lot of instances where you're just up close, it's... Yeah, yeah, really handy. Yeah, I like the idea of it. And I also like the idea that you could just have it on recording anyway, even if you're not live streaming, at least you've captured your day then, haven't you? Yeah. That's all right. Sorry. We're going to stay with this just so we can stay for a little while and look and check that everything runs smoothly. We've had a few run-ins, but nothing really major. Down the other end where they shoved that last blue van down there. We felt that was a totally unnecessary van. It wasn't needed. It was only there to block our view and leave them only one opening. So we know that's why they were doing it. And they tried to pretend it was an essential, but it clearly wasn't. I suppose the only other thing that's really, really annoyed me today is that um, all through the night and this morning, before the police came, both lanes were open because we're tucked neatly into the pavement area, way past the bicycle lane, and causing no problems. As soon as the police came, they sealed off a lane. So it's down in one lane of traffic now, of course, motorists believe, and temporary traffic lights now, motorists believe that it's us causing that. Two ambulances have had to get by, you know, it's a blue light road. So we treat it with caution and care and uh, they sealed off this. Okay, and then the excuse, so we say, okay, then why did you do that? So they say, well, there's cutting equipment and we need to keep people away. Totally understand that too. So if you look at the space that's here, uh, there's plenty of room that you could do a line of cops along that bicycle path 
and easily because we've tucked ourselves away neatly behind uh, manage it that way and you don't need this great big gap here get the gap. that is totally uncalled for you know there's a lot of people wandering around in a great big open space it could be for the vehicles and prevent them having hindered journeys Umbrellas, mainly because like last night we went through the rain, but then today we've got this brilliant sunshine and people are unusually <laughs> people are burning in the heat. Fortunately, there's a nice breeze, so nobody's overheating, but their skin's getting sometimes. The sound you can hear is the saw, it's specialist equipment, it's very safe ensures that they get cut out but nobody's harmed. I think by the position over there that'd be Miranda and Dan they're cutting out. So the first of the five pairs and then there are the three singles as well. got ITV down now so I should imagine this will be on Northwest tonight was it Northwest tonight? No it's not, it's Granada Reports isn't it? ITV it'll be on Granada Reports later I expect music's been good hey Fargo for good musical choices and the idea of putting the music system up there and broadcasting from the tower She was falling asleep. Sorry, I can't currently read the messages. There's a lot of glare. I'm still like this, so. Yeah. Kieran's singing his tower. Fargo singing from his. <laughs> you notice also they did a brilliant job of putting up a, uh, a metal wire between the two towers. So we've hung flags on it and things so that trucks can see it's there, but no truck could pass under it, so they'll have to cut that. Either way, there's no vehicles getting in today, I don't think. It takes ages to get one lock on off. Well, we should be timing to see how long it takes. And then, uh, of course, remember they've got five sets of two and three individuals. So they've got eight actual cutting opportunities to take. So that's going to be a long while. <laughs> Anyone know how long a lock-on usually takes to cut off? Joe? How long does it take normally to cut off a lock-on? Depends what it's made of, like. Yeah. Four hours is then. Uh, okay. So it anything up to four hours? It depends because whoever's making them seems to be getting better. But at the same time, they seem to be better, getting better at quitting. Ah, oh, okay. They worked out the weak spots. It, it's a cat and mouse game, I think. Yeah. Um, but I mean, they look like us. They are, and it was so heavy. Yeah, so okay, so we're it's going. It's unfortunate that we're not allowed to know like, who makes them or where they're from or what's in it. Yeah. Because like, if we did know that, obviously, that would be all sorts of problems. Us, would it? But it would make people possibly more confident with good ones. Yeah. Some we had about ten lock-ons there, and they only got to the first one. They only cut out the first one, and that took them all day. Wow. That was a, that was a five hours. It was a drum sing some of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, and, but that was, did that, that was private bailiffs. The private bailiffs don't take as much health and safety into consideration. Ah, oh, okay. Right, these will take it longer to do it. Yeah, yeah. So you could e easily have them spending six So would we say, hours. if we said what is the least time it would take? So uh, if it was a crappy one, maybe an hour? The, 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 the original ones on the four-man lock-on on, um, when, when they first started doing them, which were put together rather quickly, um, uh, the, the, you know, those, those took a, a couple of hours. Like, yeah, you know, okay. And those, those yeah. were, you know, fairly... So we've got eight situations, haven't we? We've got five pairs and three individuals. So eight situations, 
Don't no less than an hour each, maybe two hours. Uh, yeah, you're not, you're, you're not doing those that quickly. It's going to take, I would say, four or five hours per d device. The fact that they're only doing one at a time means... I've got to say, have they got, only got equipment to do one at a time, or could they work... We've seen, we've seen them do two at a time. Yeah, yeah, because I haven't yet. I've only ever seen them do one. So I was wondering if they've only got equipment to do one so, at a time. You know, maybe Long Lancashire have only got the equipment. Definitely, I mean, I think it's quite a light team, I don't know. I mean, they could ask... Um, the help of GMB, the police, yeah, and Wales as well. Yeah, that's a long way to come. Jenny, where's those bottles of water? Then? Did we leave them in there? <laughs> when we had the bag with the extra bottles. They have blankets on, like they have the shields on one and blankets on another, so they they have the capability to do more than one in one. Game. Yeah. As well, though, maybe it's me. I don't recognise the people <coughs> in the cutting team. Maybe they're Nick. I recognise two of them. Okay. The smaller chap, particularly, I think I've seen him at a few. And the other one I thought I recognised, but definitely one. Right, I've got to come back and preserve this battery for now. And I'll come back when there's more to add. And I'm sorry, I'll have to respond to comments later. And, uh, yeah, because it's just no way of 